Here's a very interesting 1940 Cadillac, but not just any Cadillac. It was owned by a general in World War II, 5.7 liter V8 there under the hood. It's a Series 75, a Fleetwood bodied uh, touring sedan. The Fleetwood has an interesting history with uh, Cadillac. Back in the day, uh, the high priced cars often had an agreement with the uh, customizers, and Fleetwood was one of them. Fleetwood uh, is outside of Reading, Pennsylvania, and uh, they were independent at one point, but then General Motors bought them up, so then they became part of GM. This is their touring sedan. As you can see, it's a, it really is a monster. It has uh, two spare tires mounted in the fender wells. It's a, a kind of a, like a chocolate brown, which was not a Cadillac color, but was a, evidently a special order. Makes you wonder uh, how this car was used, whether it was actually used uh, on the on the war front, or how or how it uh, how it was used by the general. In that back seat there, there's uh, more information about the general and uh, some of his uh, uniform is back there. As you can see, the car really isn't restored. Uh, there you see the upholstery needs to be dealt with. As, the, as also the chrome, there's the dash and it looks in pretty good condition. There's the air conditioning, <laughs> a small fan which was pretty popular back in the day. There you see turn signals on the left side, uh, which was uh, pretty innovative at the time. I think Buick brought them out in 1939, and they were on the uh, gear shift side, but Cadillac had them on the, on the left side of the steering column. Big white wall tires. As you see, the bumper guards need chroming, but the car looks good, you know, generally. It's at uh, Gateway Classics in Orlando. That's for sale. I'll give you a link so you can look at their description of the car. But boy, I'll tell you, <laughs> it makes you wonder if the generals uh, had a competition who had the biggest car. <laughs> This guy certainly was in the running. But I imagine on the on the battlefront uh, they were supplied a car. So I don't know how this was used. Certainly is uh, the lap of luxury for 1940. Notice how that uh, spare is blended right into that fender. Beautifully done. And there is his flag a two-star general. Of course, Dwight Eisenhower was a five-star general. And there is the description. 